All right, so in this video here, we're going to take a look at a suburban stovetop that's been acting up. So you can see there's a lot of soot on the top of this element, and this element is clean. So I just light this up quickly without running the fan, turn it to light, give it a couple clicks, no problem. Do the same with this. It's got very poor flame. So we're going to take the uh, top off. There's two Phillips screws. They go through into here and then the other end. So you tilt this out and away. We're going to leave the gas on to the uh, coach at this point. But obviously, the elements are off. You take off the screw, there's a, a nut here. You can lift this off, pull it back. There's a black piece here. It doesn't fit tightly. It's not clear to me if it really matters. And then you can use a wrench, excuse my reach, and take out the jet and inspect it. I'm trying to do this without blocking the camera, we didn't probably blocking the camera and struggling at the same time. So the jet will be on a bit tighter than it, this here. I noticed that if you look very carefully on the tip, there's a little bit of fuzz. It's hard to see in the camera. So you don't clean that out with a wire. It's, uh, I don't know if you can get the camera to shoot right through the hole. There we go. So it looks pretty clean. And blow through it. But it's the same regulator for both of these, so if one works, they should both work. So let's turn on the gas and let it blow through. Doesn't seem like there's any issue with flow there. The element here, not a lot you can do with it. Well, if you can see in there, you can see right through, right? There's no problem with that, but like, there's all this soot kind of baffling to me. So, at this point we've pretty much done everything we can do, so we're going to put it back on. Just need to put the jet back in. I'm going to pretend it's on securely, but it's not. It's just finger tight right now. We'll see if... Uh, We've improved this any. And if that doesn't help, then we can try and play around with that black tube. But I think as the vehicle moves down the road, it's kind of free to bounce. So I don't see how that's really part of the system. So that didn't work. So I guess the next step we're going to do is we're going to switch elements quickly. There's a different bend in the tubes, but hopefully we can uh, get that to work anyway. off and this is ready. So that tells me that the problem is this uh, device here. I don't know if there's some dirt in it. So I'm just going to take this and blow it out with some compressed air and uh, we'll see if I've got this fixed. So let's turn off the camera for a minute. I'll clean this thing out and I'll be back. Alright so I cleaned out the uh, Far element here was some soap and water, didn't have any compressed air available. So we will try and light it again. Things are just kind of loose hanging out here. Still troubleshooting. Yeah, 
and it just kind of slow to start because it was still full of water. But success. I just got to turn these off because I don't have the fan running. So if you find you've got some kind of really orange flame coming out of your machine, it could very well be that you just need to clean out the elements with some soapy water. So thank you for watching.